Human beings are made up of millions of cells. Inside every cell lies a nucleus which holds 46 chromosomes. Our chromosomes carry genes which make us into human beings. Our chromosomes are numbered from chromosome 1 to 22, with chromosome 1 being the largest chromosome and chromosome 22 being the smallest. The last pair of chromosomes are the sex chromosomes, with boys having an X and a Y and girls having two X chromosomes. Chromosomes have a top and a tail, known as the telomeres, and a centerpiece, which is known as the centromere. A pericentric inversion describes a situation where a chromosome has broken each side of the centromere and the segment has turned 180 degrees and reinserted itself upside down. Most people who carry pericentric inversions are healthy. Families and family members are identified with pericentric inversions because of investigations following a family history of birth defects, infertility, recurrent miscarriage. In order to become a parent, you need to make a mature egg or sperm. Each parent only hands on half their chromosomes into the egg or sperm. Normally, each pair of chromosomes come together, exchange genetic material, known as crossing over, and divide. Problems can arise for pericentric inversion carriers during pairing up, as there is a segment of the chromosome upside down. When a pericentric inversion is present, a loop has to form in one of the chromosomes, so that the alike chromosomal segments and the genes that lie within are all aligned correctly. If a crossover occurs on either side of the loop, then the chromosomal products will be balanced and the baby will be healthy, although 50% will carry the inversion. If a crossover occurs within the loop, two chromosomal segments are produced that are unbalanced, with both having a loss of some genes and a doubling up of other genes. In this instance, the baby will either miscarry or be born with birth defects and or developmental delay. Your risk depends on the specific pericentric conversion that is present in your family. Your local genetics unit will help determine what your individual risk is.